The Fortnite competition is finally back. Welcome to Fortnite FNCS Season 6. Schedule has just been announced. $3 million prize pool. This season will be one of the biggest and best yet. With, you know, a prize pool of $3 million split. We have some of the most talented players across the world competing for that money. And we're excited to see who comes out on top. Welcome everybody, I'm Kevin Smack, and we're going to be diving in, letting you know all about what's going on with FNCS for Season 6, Chapter 2. With that said, there was just a hot fix dropped, so I'm excited to talk about it. There's two changes, the one's not as big, but let's go over real quick. The Recycler now harvests ammo faster and does more damage to structures. And the important part... Drum roll, please. That's really bad drum roll. Sorry about that. Primal shotgun damage has been reduced. Hooray! The pullout time has been increased. Hooray! Is this the nerf that we've been waiting for? I don't know. You tell me in the comments if you got to use it. This has just been reported about an hour ago. I installed it and I can't wait to stream tonight to see what happens with it. So let me know what you find out. Let's jump in and show you exactly what's going on with FNCS Chapter 2 Season 6 and how it's changing and what's new. Here we have the schedule. Jumps right into the details. We're going to start in two weeks from now. So April 22nd is going to be Qualifier 1. So you have that time to rank up in Arena. So you're going to want to get started. And today's probably going to be a tough day because they just announced it. A lot of people are going to be hitting the Arena hard. Prize pool again, $3 million. This is the split. You're looking at EU 1.35. Ooh, NA East come in at 690 and NA West 300K. And you can see the rest there. They have the, basically the same format as last time. If you don't remember how the format works, I'll link a video at the end of this video so you can get a walkthrough of how all the levels work. But basically, there's just going to be one slight change because the three teams that placed first, second, and third in last season, Chapter 2, Season 5, FNCS, will automatically qualify for the finals. They are not allowed to participate in the qualifiers or semifinals unless they basically disband and sign stuff saying they've done that. So those teams, you're not going to have to worry about. Other changes is Reboot was expanded from three matches to six matches, and the scoring is a lot different. Let's get into that, because I think I like it better. Scoring is gonna be more points if you live longer, and they're definitely buffing after Storm Surge. So if you survive Storm Surge, you get a little extra points, which I think is a smart move because it's hard to survive Storm Surge. I've seen those, and you got the best of the best, and if you can't hit somebody or get under that, it's just rough. But they're going to be giving 30 points for Victory Royale. Eliminations are going to stay at 2. They have more official rules that will be coming soon, so I'm sure that's going to be dropping. I'll put this article in the description if you're wondering more about it. And before we you leave, don't go anywhere. We have another cool thing going on. The FNCS All-Star Showdown. Competition continues. Chapter 2, Season 6. FNCS and FNCS All-Star Showdown on June 23rd to 26th. The main event will be a solo tournament featuring the top players in each region for the past two FNCSs. So the top 15 teams that made it from Chapter 2, Season 5 and the 15 teams that are going to be making it in Chapter 2 Season 6 FNCS will receive invitationals to the FNCS All-Star Showdown. For a total of 90 people competing to determine who is the best player in their region. This means half the field's already set, so there's more on the line. And I think the winner I'm going to pick is going to be someone from Chapter 2 Season 6 because... If they're already winning, I think they're just going to continue. That's just my uh, few cents there. A handful of invite players will have the opportunity to compete as individuals in creative mode skills, challenges during the day leading up to the solo championship. So they'll have some creative stuff as well. It's pretty exciting. I can't wait to check out the new esports for Fortnite. It looks like they're trying to get it ramped up. I mean, the nerf to the Primal Shotgun alone is huge. I'm so excited about that. I don't really know what to say. 
What do you guys think about the nerf? Are you going to try for this FNCS? Let me know down below so you can claim your $3 million. Thanks so much for watching. Here is the video I was mentioning about how the format works. So when you do qualify, you'll know exactly how everything progresses. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you over there.